not going to reuse this mount just because this bushing on this side is totally separated uh, and the other side looks like it's on its way out as well so we'll go ahead and use these mounts that came with the pump okay after getting under there and looking at everything I think I am going to use at least this bracket to mount the pump so we'll go ahead and pop off this mount I guess I could just get a replacement if you can even find them but that guy's there so what I'm thinking about doing is taking these guys and just lining them up drilling two holes here and here and then mounting it to that two holes and I ground down this side piece just so the pump will fit there a little easier. Threw some painter's tape on the end of the hose just so we're not collecting debris when we're running it underneath the car. Since we weren't anticipating using AN fittings and hoses throughout the whole car, even from the fuel tank uh, to the fuel pump, we'll go ahead and run this main line up to the fuel rails, which they are they go right here, and then they loop over and attach to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this off somewhere like right here and then we're going to run this hose all the way to the back of the fuel pressure regulator just to make sure we don't cut this up and then we don't have enough line you know to make this this run so here we go. So we got this line ran, uh, there's some slack in it, we'll, we'll go ahead and secure that to the old fuel lines. I went up and above this cross member and this is going to be the setup for back here. So I already showed you all the mount, how we drilled holes so we could mount the fuel pump to it. This is actually how I got the fuel pressure regulator mounted, uh, if you remember this shroud right here was protecting the original hoses uh, so we just utilized that bolt and that bolt hole uh, mounted this right there so this is actually going to work out pretty nicely because this line just goes directly to it so that's the feed going up to the motor and then now that we know our length of hose we still got a few feet so that's super exciting because what we're going to do is you know, use that additional hose to go from the fuel pump to the fuel pressure regulator in. And then this is the return that will go out and it'll come down to this guy. So yeah, pretty excited. Let's get this done. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, well, we're going to remove this little shroud right here. Because it's going to be right in the way of everything. We might modify it and put it back in after we get the hoses made. All right, we got the feed going to the pump. How we're figuring out which fittings to use, um, I just go ahead and screw them in. This 90 was working the best for this. I kind of boogered this one up. So I went ahead and attached it to the end of the hose. So we got the full length here. And all we're doing is kind of lining everything up. And then putting the tape where we want to cut. So kind of midway in between there. We got the hose cut to the length that we wanted and you tape it to keep this from fraying, but it should be okay. We're going to take our AN fitting and this is the side we're going to twist on. And I try to tuck in all these like frays on the first go around. I'm going to twist and push this in. until it stops on this lip on the inside. So after we get it to that lip, we're gonna hold this fitting on, and then we're gonna start threading in this barb. And what this barb does is it presses down on the inside of that hose and squeezes or pinches it in between this barb and the outside so it creates a good seal. Now we're gonna hold this hose, put pressure on the, the back side of it while we thread this barb in. And as you get close to tightening this all the way down, you're gonna hear, you hear that, that crunching? That's the metal cord in the hose. There we go. Let's see if she fits. Okay, so now that we've got the hose going from the pump to the pressure regulator slash filter, we need to make the return line. So it's gonna go from right here all the way back to the tank. We got a couple different fittings to make this happen with. We're gonna start with the 180. I have a 120 right here a 45 and a couple 90s so we'll see what combination works best it looks like the 120 is going to be perfect when we get this screwed in uh, it's just going to miss that tank and then we should be able to 90 off this end we got this last line made the return and we left it a little long so it would have this kind of bend in it so it'd be away from the tank in this bracket that we made. For a final recap, we go from the tank, to the pump, out of the pump, into the fuel pressure regulator, out of the fuel pressure regulator slash filter, back to the tank, and then we made that hose that goes up to the fuel line. Already. Since we're going to mount the radiator in the rear, I think I'm actually going to mount it right behind uh, this little brace. So we're going to get rid of these little uh, tunnels. So these were for the fuel line, so we're going to go ahead and cut those out.
next time we're going to be removing the gas tank, uh, welding up all these seams on the floor, cleaning all that up, and then we'll go ahead and start making the brackets and mounts uh, to mount the radiator. So stay tuned and we'll see y'all next time. Peace.